Yeah, there's definitely smoke coming out of the chimney. But I think I want more. More smoke. Gonna need lots more smoke. Welcome to another episode of Medieval Engineer. So I was thinking, what would be a farm without a water well? So, there it is. I think it works. It looks kinda cool. So I placed a road plum over there with some catch blocks, but I'm gonna have to do a thing coming out of here with the rotation. Uh, with the rotation. <laughs> with the hand crank wheel to be able to get the barrels down and get the barrels up. But the thing is the barrel. Uh, the bucket. I don't see a bucket. I I checked on the workbench. I don't I don't think there's a bucket in the game. That would be kind of cool. Maybe I haven't unlocked it yet because apparently I haven't unlocked the big uh, smithy too. I still need to do the meta works and stuff. The meta tools, I think. But I think I could use like a barrel with a with with a rope pipe plate on top of it with a rope connected to the rope drum. Or I can just make one myself with some blanks and stuff, but that's for another time. For now, I think it's looking pretty cool, a water well here on the farm. So let me show you what I was working on today. Here in the blacksmith shop, the smelting factory. So I was thinking, it, uh, there, there was some, yeah, there's this thing, I'm just gonna show you. It wouldn't make much sense having the workers carrying the, the big boxes filled with ores so the stairs, it will be kind of precarious. So I already placed down the the, 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 fu the furnaces. I think I'm going to increase the walls over there. So that we just see the, fu the furnace here. I think it looks kind of cool. And I'm thinking about a, a, a crane system. To lift the, the, the boxes up here. Then having a little cart to bring the yours this way. This way the workers would have to just unload the yours from here and put it in the furnace. And then the ingots they can bring them down through the stairs. But to bring the yours and the stones and all the stuff up, I think I'm gonna have to do a, a, a crane system. So I destroyed the, the balcony that I had here and I placed on these things. Uh, I don't think this has to be too much bigger than this. I think I'm just gonna add another one. And this will be like a big... Uh, storage place for stones and ores and stuff and I'm thinking about building a crane and then a rotation system to bring the box up and put it in the in the in the wheel in the in the in the cart and to bring it over so let's just extend this a little bit have a little bit more room and let's see what we can do okay so there's an initial idea I got this shape like here and the idea is to have like a, a crane here to pull the box through this thing. Uh, I added these things, maybe I'm gonna have to remove it, I'm not sure. Let's go downstairs and let's see what we can do. Let's start putting the box. So, I think I got this ore box right here. Let's pick up some timbers. Now let's see. Uh, I think I can just put it like this and then uh, I'll just remove it. Let's see if the box stands on top. Okay, I got the box on top. Now, I got some diagonal timbers, I think. Let's see if I can put the diagonal timber on top of this thing. Yeah, but the thing is, on this version there's only these two sizes. It's not like, like the normal Timos, which can go from 1 to 10. It's only this. Which is a shame. Because it would be nice to, to do like a... You know, a pulley system here. Uh, so, let's try to use the normal Timos. Like so, I think I'm gonna try to put like in the corners. Can I go in the corner? Let's put like a, a timber three on each corner. And uh, okay, so far so good. 
Uh, yeah, I could put it even around it. Oh, around it might be better. Might be kind of cool. If I put like around, it'll be like a, a frame that supports the box. I think that should be kind of cool. Let's see. Put it like this, and then just let's see if it stays. Oh yeah, it's connected to the box. I was kind of scared that it would be connected to the timber and not to the box. Okay. Along here, I can put like uh, something just to to do it like this. Give it like a frame. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I can still remove the one underneath. Nice. So, let's see if I can put uh, some height would be nice. Let's see if I can put a stair here. Uh, kind of close to it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good spot. That was lucky. So, let's go to number seven. And let's see if I can turning sideways like so it doesn't want it doesn't connect everywhere uh, maybe from the bottom might be better either yeah it's kind of tricky to find the right the right spot yeah No, eh, yeah, that's a shame. Uh, well, let's just give it another try. Hmm. No, it's kind of hard because when I pointed the timber, you see the the diagonal one goes outside. It doesn't. It doesn't find the. The middle. I think what might work is if I put one timber in the middle over there. Let's see. If I put one here, maybe now. Yeah, nice. Uh, uh, Well, I think it could work better if I have a timber on the outside here. Let's see. I have a timber there. Almost nice. It's almost nice. Yeah. Uh, let's put it like this, even so. And uh, let's point at that thing. It's a bit like a nice frame for the. I just wanted some timber to be in the middle, you know. To pull it up from the middle. Uh, because now the idea would be to have this thing. Oh, it doesn't connect there. Oh, that's a shame. So yeah, let's let's remove the idea. Where would it connect to the timber? Is it because I was too close? There it connects, there it connects. No, to the diagonal timber doesn't connect on this side, apparently. So let's remove the, the, the diagonal timber. Because the thing is, this, this eight 
these rope pipe plates. Rope release. I think they only connect once. You cannot connect them to like four different uh, pivot points. So if I had like one, one of these things on each four corners, I could not connect one of them up there to all four. I don't think. But what I could do is like put four here in the corner, right? And having a rope drum that would connect to all four, but I don't think that works. I think the rope drum will only connect to one. That's why I kind of wanted to put it right in the middle. And if I put it like this, kind of hanging, doesn't look very good. So let's just do it like this. Uh, so I got the frame here. Yeah, I could maintain the frame outside. I think it will look better. Like, I got these frames right here. Nice. And I could add these ones on the sides, just to match the others. Like so. This way it has a frame all around. Symmetrical and stuff. Let's see if I can get it in. Yeah, I put it to the bottom. I'm on. Nice, right there. And right there. And let's remove this one from our corner. Okay, nice. And here it's on the outside. So let's. But it looks kind of cool on the inside. Yeah, let's put it on the inside. Like so. Is that on the inside or on the outside? It's in the outside. Like that, and another one right here. There you go. It's like a, a nice box right there. Pretty cool. And I can even mimic just putting a, a number one right here, like it is on the ground. So it's a nice symmetrical box. Now let's get rid of this thing. It's a little bit too close. I might just put another one a little far away. Okay. I could even... Let's see if I can put this thing down. Oh yeah, there you go. It's a little further away. Better room to, to maneuver. So. I think since this is not feasible, I'm just going to add this thing like so. One right there. You know, I should be able to put this in the middle. There you go. Okay, so I got myself a nice box to bring the oars up, right? It's gonna be one one at a time. I don't know if this is gonna fit over there. Probably not. I'm gonna have to probably remove this thing. But let's go upstairs and see if we can start working on the crane. So, it's a bit weird that you can't even connect the timbers to the side of the diagonal timbers. Because I kind of wanted to put this pillar on top over there, but I had to place down a normal timber to be able to do this. It's kind of a, a frame, you know? I could uh, double up on these diagonal ones, maybe it will be better to give the impression that it's much more sturdy. Yeah, but no I can't because there's a timber over there. Oh, that's annoying man. That's a little restrictive. Yeah, now I can put one there. Well, that's fine. It's gonna stay like this then. Now, I think it would make more sense if I had the the, the wheel turning this facing this way, right? It would be it would be a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, this 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 box is not gonna fit through here. Again, I have to remove these things. Uh, what would be nice to put here, that's the thing. Because... This one fills it up completely. This one is a little too small. I think I'm just gonna use normal planks. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's just put it in... Uh, pl planks. I got a few right here. You can put it there underneath the, the diagonal one. Yeah. Like 
and now yeah the timber should be the timber is a little bit short <laughs> gonna have to replace those timbers right there yep sorry about that kind of fail but it has to be done and there you go bye bye let's grab it I don't want to lose timbers <laughs> Let's just grab this timbers and uh, let's 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 rework that thing. I think it's better. Okay, much better. It's kind of kind of looks like it fits. Uh, it's kind of centered. I got six planks here, seven pla uh, eight planks here, and six plank here. The size, I mean. Uh, yeah, I put two of these. It looks it looks sturdy. So let's just put more plank, more timbers right here. So this sh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So let's put a full timber. Is it? No, I can't do it all, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's an eight. There you go. Yeah, so it's kind of symmetrical. That doesn't make any difference because the timbers kind of connect. So I don't have more timbers. Of course not. Why would I have more timbers? That's that's the question. So it would be good if the rope drum was in the middle. So I believe the rope drum is like four wide. So. Let me just find, so I place 8 and 8, right? So if I just do 6... Okay, so now I found a way to connect to that thing. So the rope drum should fit right here. No, but it's it's on the sideways, yeah. The sideways it's just 2. Sideways is just 2, okay. Okay. Uh, so, I'm gonna have to do, put the catch block here, but if the rope drum is 4, it's gonna take all these 4, so let's just mark these ones here, so I can place here a number 7, and here another 7. Okay, nice. Okay, so the rope drum is gonna have to fit right there. Four. But then I'm gonna need an extra. Uh, so let's just do. No, rotate vertical. Yeah, that's right. Uh, can I connect over there? Okay then. I'll, I'll, I'll put a, an horizontal one first then. That's fine by me. So now go vertical. Let's do a, uh, a two. So here I place a three, right? Yeah, you can even stay like this. A two. Now, I, I grab my, my catch block. Where is it? I think I grabbed it. Yeah, a catch block. Uh, it should go in here. Let's see. I'm not sure which side it is. I think it goes both sides. That's that's fine. So I got my catch block over there. Uh, let's just put some timbers on top. Like so. And like so. Okay, it kind of works. I think it works. The height. Yeah, the height is the problem. Oh yeah, the box is not... Well, I don't need to actually get the box out. I was thinking about the crane system, but it's just it's just a pulley system, not really a crane. Because my initial idea would be to bring the box up and then rotate it, you know, and place it over there. But I don't think that's necessary. I can just have a cart here. 
a small little cart. I can just bring the box up. I just need to be able to access it. And I think this height should be enough. Let's see. Uh, so let's grab the rope drum. Should be around here. Uh, yeah, it has to be lower. Yeah, it has to be one block lower. So that's a good thing. I tried it. So let's put another timber here. Underneath. Let's see if I can. No, I can just re replace this one. There you go. Let's put a... Come on, baby. There you go. A number three right there. But this is going to be even lower. This is going to be even one block lower. Let's try it. If it's low, well, I'm going to have to redo this and do it higher. Let's just put it like that. Let's grab the catch block. The catch block, I mean. That's right. Where is it? There you go. Got myself another catch block. Now, let's see. The rope drum should fit right there. Nice. I think they're both sides the same. I'm not sure, but I think they are. And to give it more stability, I could put two catch blocks on each side. One catch, and this is not centered, is it? Yeah, it's centered. It's centered. I could put another catch block, and then connect. Could be a two-sided catch block with a crank wheel on the on the on the sides. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna do that. So let's just fill that hole over there. Uh, so I would like to mimic. So here I got two. Let's just put it like this. It's easier. Okay. So now I believe it should be right here. Uh, yep, but I don't think I have another catch block. No, let me just craft another one really quick. Down here I'm kind of using this as storage for stone, but I'm gonna work this thing out too. I think this is gonna be like a smithy area with some storage and stuff. And the burning, the smelting stuff is up, th up there. But uh, for now, let's, let's just see if I can finish this thing and test it out. So... One sided doesn't fit because it's too long. The extended, I think it works with the catch block normal. One sided, I think the catch block is actually two sided. Isn't it? I think it is. So let's just put it. Let's see. Let's grab the crank wheel. There you go. I got myself the crank wheel. Does it rotate? Yeah, it rotates. Nice. So now, for the piece of resistance, let's grab the rope, which I think I have. Yeah, three should be good. Can I reach it? No. The thing is, if I go downstairs, I don't think... Let's see. Left click. There you go. Much easier. Nice. So, we got ourselves a connection. This is thing is gonna swing all over the place. That's the problem. Maybe I should put, like, a frame to actually make the box go up straight. Because, as you can see, this is not very... but okay. Let's test it out. It's hanging. It's holding. Pretty cool. So let's actually put some mores in there. Let's test it for real. I think I should have some here. Uh, well, uh, no, nobody knows. Let's pretend that this box is full of ores. I don't think it adds any weight to the thing. I think it just, it just is the same thing as just a box. So if you can hold the box. So let's see if I can bring it over. There you go. Got myself a box up here. Yeah, it rotates. I'm gonna have to do a frame 
to keep it straight because apparently the hole is just enough for it to pass through, I think. And from here, I can access the box. Okay. Uh, when this thing fits, uh, it, 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 it will be even a little bit easier. It's going to be a little higher, but I actually think I'm going to raise this thing a little bit. Maybe, you know, like uh, three, three timbers. But the system is, is working. I think, uh, yeah, yeah, and I can't even fit underneath uh, standing up. So I think I think that's what I'm gonna try. So I shift F to lower it, and uh, I don't think it even needs to go to the floor. That's fine. Let's try again. Oh, almost. Can I push it? Let's see. Shift F. No, nope. is it jammed? Oh boy, I think I might have jammed the thing. Let's just stand on it, <laughs> see if I can push it down. Yeah. I'm releasing but it's not going. Come on buddy. Shift F. I think something's going to explode any second now. Come on. Well, it's jammed in. Pretty good. But it worked. Shift F. Hold, uh, hold F to turn wheel. Press F to configure wheel. Pick up this object? No, I do not. I, don't, I do not want to pick up this object. I just wanted to rotate him. Yeah. But I'm gonna I'm gonna remove it anyway. I'm gonna raise this thing a little bit. But the thing is, uh, the the diagonal timbers might not work. But, well, I can just push them back a little bit. Uh, but then it's gonna be sad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out. But at least the concept works, and I think it's much better than ha having to bring the oars, these big boxes all the way through the stairs to burn them in the furnace so on this note and it looks pretty cool i think it adds quite a bit to the to the factory thank you for watching and until next time